to go live out to Hood River where Elise Haas is standing by to give us more on I-84. Hey, Carl. Yes, so we stayed in Hood River overnight and we woke up to about a quarter of inch of snow on our windshield that we had to scrape off. And I'm sure you can probably see some of this light snowfall because it's snowing again this morning and the snow is going to be here to stay throughout the rest of the day. It is below freezing, so all of the snow that does fall will stick to the roads. You can kind of see what the roads look like here in Hood River. Most of it does have at least half an inch on the ground, and that's why all of the schools in Hood River are going to be closed this morning just to keep students and staff safe. When it comes to the highway, we have seen seen ODOT out making laps along I-84 eastbound and I-84 westbound. We haven't seen people, you know, having any problems make it along. The roads are still passable. They're just not ideal. But we do know that ODOT is out trying to clear these roads because they're going to want to make up for all of the havoc and troubles that we've seen along I-84 the past three days with all of those closures. Most notably, this 20-mile-long backup that happened yesterday all the way from Cascade Locks to Hood River, where I talked to families who were stranded and sleeping in their cars overnight because everyone was stuck in place. And I talked to truck drivers who said it took them 15 or more hours just to go 20 miles and many people struggling just to stay warm, trying to conserve fuel overnight. So again, we are going to be con continue to experience these same severe winter weather conditions throughout the gorge today. And so that's why we're out here monitoring these conditions. And if you are going to be coming out here, make sure you have your traction tires, make sure that you have your chains just in case you need them because we we know we have seen so many troubles and so many people getting stuck. So you want to be prepared if you're going to be making it out this way. We're going to continue to monitor the conditions throughout the gorge today. We'll bring you any issues and updates that we know of. But for now, reporting live in Hood River, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. Yeah, and Elise, we had heard that uh, the backup was so bad yesterday that ODOT was actually bringing fuel and water to people along the side of the road. Yes. They've just been stuck there for so long. It really got to that point. It was unbelievable. And I'm, no, I'm sure that those families who ran out of gas were very grateful for that, at least. Yeah, no doubt. All right. Thanks a lot, Elise Hodge.